back with some more inscription. I guess we're just gonna continue. Let's hope this doesn't start a new game. I don't know how that continue button works. Let's see what's going on here. Okay, seems I'm at the same place. Uh, yes, my things are still unlocked. So I think I just ended right at the beginning of my new run here. Let's go. No, you may choose a specific beast. Instead, you must know the side or a tribe that you prefer. Okay, this is new. Oh shit, what? What is this? I don't think I've seen this before. Let's go with this one. Oh, it's snakes, I guess. A randomly chosen reptile card. I should have gone with the with the wolf. Do you wish for something else? Yes, but I don't think I can. All right. <laughs> what is that symbol? An ancient woman emerged from behind an oak tree. She carefully laid out intricate wood carvings and gestured at them. Br what? Whatever. <laughs> Choose. Okay, I get to pick one of these. See, this was Burwer. I think flying is the best one. Maybe. Probably not. Oh, let's go with flying. Let's see what happens. Oh, this is the thing I got from the from that drawer. The old woman barred her teeth in satisfaction. Her first totem was complete. The airborne sigil will now be marked upon all your squirrel creatures. What? What's the point of that? <laughs> okay. Thanks, I guess. I think this statue is going to fit in here. And that will maybe let me get this knife. I don't know how to uh, grill this cage yet. Wait, didn't I have a card that said caged? It said caged wolf. Maybe I need to actually get the card. And destroy... And uh, uh, Okay, I'm getting way too ahead, ahead of myself. So I think we're just going to keep playing. Because new stuff is happening like every run here it seems. Look, there's a third talking card somewhere around here. Personally, I hate the guy. Biggest killjoy ever. But he's the only one of us with a plan to get things back to normal. Alright then. Uh, let's see what's he have. Mighty Leap. A card bearing decision will block an opposing creature bearing the airborne. Well, this one has a lot of stuff. That's the bifurcated strike and sprinter. Right. Uh, can I even play anything? I can. See, this guy had. Let's just uh, get the stout. The stout. Down here. Bad play. Well, fuck you. Oh, he attacks to the sides. Fuck, I forgot. And then he moves. Alright, uh, what do I want? Probably... Do I even want the bullfrog down? Oh yeah, he has fly- okay, never mind. Uh, let's just grab a squirrel. Play the bullfrog. Where? Here? See, this guy will just attack, okay. <clears throat> It's fine. What do I have here? Oh, I have the fish hook. I got that last time. What does it do? I think I can snatch one of his cards. Don't want to use it though. Uh, let's go. That cage wolf did a thing for a reason. The card seems useless, but... I think there's more to it. Yeah, 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 that's what I'm thinking too. Fucking stink bug. Don't solve the puzzle for me. Let's see. Can I can play the stink bug actually. He's gonna move. He's gonna attack and move. 
Uh, you know what? Let's just put it like here. Yeah. Oh, it's almost dead. That stinks. There's the cage wolf. So I need to play this and get it killed. I don't think that's gonna happen this this game here though, because I've already won. I can just yeah, yeah. If I can draw that a bit earlier, that would be great. Oh, I get to choose tribes again. Well, I think I'm going wolf. Or K9. Donald's Bloodhound. It leaps to oppose new creatures when they are played. Right. Because this is Guardian. When an opposing creature is placed opposite to an empty space, a card bearing city will move to an empty space. Yeah, yeah. Gimme. The bones of an ancient woman creaked and groaned as she approached. With gently shaking hands, she placed her offering before you. Okay, so this is... Can I... Okay, I have... I have the squirrel right now. So maybe if I... Oh, I can like uh, combine bodies and heads and stuff. I don't have any of these, I don't think. See, what is this? Bees within. Because when it's really struck, a bee is created, yeah. I don't think anything is good with a squirrel, because squirrels are just for sacrificing. See, this is ants and this is birds, I guess. Which I have none of either. Maybe I should just grab this body then. Can I... Okay. Can I change this whenever I want? Maybe the bee within works with sacrifices too. That would be pretty good. Or can I only switch this out when I'm in, at, in the screen? Yeah, maybe I can. I need to grab this now. Yeah. The old woman collected her pieces and shuffled off into the darkness. Alright. Wolf and... Yeah, yeah, I know. I know. I don't have the card yet. Please. Uh, I can't play anything. What is he playing? Coyote River Order. Well, epic. <laughs> I might actually die here. Uh, we need put some stuff down. Put the blood on down. So we need another squirrel. Put it here. Yes. Who let that dog out? Uh, let's see. What's going on on the board? Kyori. Oh, I'm one, one away from dying here. Not great. I am killing the coyote with the bloodhound here. This one I literally can't kill because it's submerged. I need to put down... Okay, I can put down the stink bug. Let's get another card. The stout. So let's put the stink bug to block. Oh, the stink is... Loses one power, yeah. So if you put it here, it literally neutralizes the other here. And uh, I think we're done. Yeah, zero attack. And it doesn't seem like he has any more cards either, so I think we just win now. Uh, didn't get to play the the thing, the cage. Yep. There's the cage wolf. He doesn't have any damage on the board anyway. There we go. Okay, what is this? I don't think I've seen this symbol before. Looks like I get some cards, but it's a... Some blood on it. Let's see what's up here. Is that the old woman again? 
or backpack. I think our backpack is already full, so let's go. I want to see what this is. Must make a different kind of choice now. Choose not a specific beast, but decide the cost you wish to pay. Well, one is all. Did I do that? The discard. <laughs> Tentacles instead of the name. I think this is... The value is how many cards you have in your hand on this one. One health though, not great. Random card when a cost of one. What were you expecting? Oh well, give me. Decrepit woodcarver appeared before you. She moved with a certain vigor in spite of her considerable age. And we have Burwer. When an empty space would be struck, a card bearing this. Okay. Uh, it's, it's the same two heads, though. I still don't have any of this. I mean, I'm, I, I can pick one for later if I get some... Some of these. I think we're still gonna go Squirrel, though. Even though it literally does nothing. I mean, I guess it could do something. If I ever decide to block with a squirrel, it will give me a B. The airborne literally does nothing, though. You hunch down to place her offering in your pack. When you looked up again, the ancient woman has vanished. Cage wolf. Let's see. What's going on here? Two coyote. We have a uh, grand fur here. Uh, I guess we're just gonna play this. Could put down the cage wolf immediately, actually. Let's do that. Sheet in a uh, squirrel here from the bottle. Cage wolf. Put him in front of the coyote. Like that, and... Let's go. This guy survives, right? Yes. Let's play him. Right here. The cage burst next turn. Uh, oh. What do we do? Card or... Where's this guy? He's guard from... Uh, guard from Airborne. Yeah, okay. I can play him. I can play him. So I can play him right here to kill the coyote. And this coyote will also die. I have no cards though. Not great. There's the cage. Got an achievement. Uncage the menagerie. What was that? Yeah, something happened in the background. I think I can't really do anything until we leave the game here though. Well. Uh, how's the life? Need four damage to win. Oh, the wolf came out of the cage. I didn't even see that. Uh, I think we're just gonna... What do I have here? I have the hook and the pliers. I think we're just gonna pass. Yeah, he has nothing left. Uh, I mean, this is gonna do zero damage if I play it. But we might as well put it down, right? Put it down here. That coyote can go fuck itself. I'll allow it to survive. Yeah, it has zero. Wait, if I... Does that... Oh, yeah, it changes to a one now. Okay, so it is uh, the amount of... Check the rule book. I don't think you can actually see... Wait, how do I... How do I... Why can't I... Oh. Like, some of these rules are... Look at this. Can't see what the hell it is. You have to kind of... Yeah, here it is. Card counter. But it's kind of an obvious one. However, the mirror one... I thought about this after last stream, and I think it is... It mirrors the other value on the card. Maybe. So if you have one life, you have one attack too, if the mirror is here. 
And then you can maybe like, if you have something that buffs your health, it's gonna buff the... the damage as well at the same time. Bell ringing, I have no idea. Maybe something happens at the end of the turn. Whatever. Uh, we win. Let's go check on that, uh, on that wolf now. He's out. Give me. Put him here. You finally pried my special dagger from the paws of that squirrel. Though you may wish that you hadn't. Okay. Oh, it's here on the table now. Can probably use it in the game then. Somehow. Still need to find a cockroach for this. Uh, anything else? Not really. Wait, this candle. Has not been lit before. This one used to be lit. Oh, what? I do relish snuffing out your excess candles before a boss. Perhaps, perhaps you will now enjoy as much as I do. So we get a smoke. I'll take it. Okay, back to the game. Uh, a trapper. What else? Uh, let's go here. Do I even have any money? I had some, right? My pelts are clean. Okay, we have some. Have a free one. Let's see, one, two, three, seven. Oh, we can get a golden one. Give me. Thanks for your patronage. This is. Is this a sacrifice? It is. Right. Let's see, what do we wanna do here? This, that's not a stink bug. Wait, who's this? Why does it have uh, like a human face? Wasn't that a bug before? Maybe you should just sacrifice her to get rid of this creepy face. <laughs> no, I think we're gonna put... This one is pretty good, right? A card bearing the sigil will block an opposing creature bearing the airborne sigil. Because airborne fuckers are really annoying. However, the bullfrog is a kind of a good card. It's a one cost one. Hmm. Maybe we should just do this one. <laughs> and we put the stink lines on... On what? The wolf? Sure. <laughs> Boss time. Let's go. Greater smoke. That smoke. It is great indeed. Why is it better? Had three candles. What does that mean? A shield. A shield mist closed in around you. You were not alone. A figure emerged from the fog. Stand in the way of me gold? Be darned. Okay, so this... This just gives me four, right? It's the same. Yes. But it has... The last one had like zero, one, right? This one has one, three. Can I put anything down? This one's kind of good to put on right now, actually. So let's just do that. What is he, what is he doing? Okay, we're in pack mule. I think we gotta go for the pack mule. I think that's the gimmick here, because you get a bunch of cards when it dies. So let's put down this one and tentacle. And let's go. Maybe I should have like I maybe I should read what the knife does. Probably nothing good. The pliers. With the pliers I can pull out my own tooth to add to the scales. <laughs> 
Uh, give me a squirrel. Okay, let's read. Special dagger. To the user, you will place a weight on the scales. The pain is temporary. Okay, so this is the same as the pliers then, but just a different one. Maybe. Because it says a weight. Alright. Well, we don't... I don't think we need it yet. Uh, coyote. Wolf cub. See, I think I'm gonna uh, play the adder. Maybe we can just put this down. It's free, I think. So, let's do that. And then we play the adder here next turn to kill off the cub before it can become a, a big wolf. Doing. I was putting down this thing. The adder. I won't allow you to play a card. Oh, I need to pick a card, I guess. <laughs> Fucking bots, man. Just pop that mule. Yeah, I'm working on it. Please. Wait, it takes two sacrifices, though. Can I sac. Mm -hmm. Wait, I can just play the, the stealth instead. Yeah, you know, they usually don't, like, start spamming. They just post a message and then leave, but... They're evolving. Okay. Should be good. Yes. Pack mule dies next turn. To refresh our hand. Let's see here. How's the life counter? Three. How much damage do I have on the board? One. I think I'm just gonna pick a squirrel here. Can't really play anything. Don't like that adder. Okay, the stoat kills the pack mule, then the wolf comes. Crap. I think I'm just gonna pass here. Oh, I should have saved the tentacle for now. Look at I have... Dag nabbit. Corpse maggots, what the fuck? Corpses are in no short supply. Why did that just put... What is this? Corpse eater. If a creature that you own perishes by combat, a card bearing the sigil in your hand is automatically played in its place. Uh, that's... Pretty weird. It's pretty bad though. One, two. Not in the best spot either. I'd like it to be on the adder, but I guess it's fine. Porcupine, this is. Striker is done. Okay. See, I... okay, I can only put one down. Or a one cost down. So I guess we're putting. Oh, draw a card. Of course. That's the pelt. Unlucky. Uh, porcupine. Go, kill the adder. What do we do? Do we... Might we just win, don't we? Yes, we just win. But now on to phase two. And rip our cards. Do I get the bones for this at least? I do. Okay, good. Bloodhound. I need to kill that wolf. Do I have any one costs? I don't. I don't think I can sacrifice this. Ah, uh, please, one cost. Rabbit pelt! Can't sacrifice a gold nugget. Okay, so what, do I just need to wait for him to kill the... He has the wolf here, he's gonna deal three damage to me if I just skip. Maybe I should just sacrifice a squirrel to block. Probably worth it. I get a B too. If that's any consolation. Uh, let's see, one, three health. 
So I could put down the bee to kill that wolf. But do I want to play something else first? The adder? I can play the adder to just kill the, that guy immediately. I don't think I have anything else good here. Yes. Do I have two squirrels? I do. There we go. No, it's flying! It flew over the wolf. Fuck. God damn it. Uh, I can still put another adder there, right? There again. No, I can't. I don't have enough space to sacrifice. Dude. Wolf frog. Can I sacrifice the rabbit pelt? I don't know if that works. Maybe this symbol means I can't sacrifice it, actually. I don't know. Ah, oh, shit, dude. I can't take another hit from the wolf, though. I can also sacrifice the adder to play the bullfrog. But I don't think that's the play. I think we're just gonna skip here. Yeah, I don't need to use that yet. Squirrels. Uh. Okay, we killed the wolf at least with the bullfrog. But that's about it. Yeah. Is he out of cards? No. Nope. There comes some more, and I can't even kill that cub before it uh, kills me. Uh. really play anything. I have no squirrels and no... I guess we're just gonna pick a squirrel and pass. Ah, now what the fuck. How much health does he have? Oh, yes. It's in the middle again. Fuck. Hmm... Probably gonna put the adder here next turn to kill off the grown wolf. Do I wanna kill that adder he has though? I might just pass here again. Just grab another squirrel and pass. Yeah. There we go. And now we play the adder. No, we can play the blood wolf instead. But this is. Like a, when an opposing creature is placed opposite is placed opposite to an empty space, a card bearing this sigil move to that space. Because I don't want this jumping in to be attacked by the adder, because that would instantly kill it. But it's only when it's placed. Let's see if the game actually words that correctly. Uh, oh, there's the buffed wolf too. We should play that instead. Yeah. No, this has the stink lines, so it makes the adder have zero damage if they play it there. But I think I'm gonna put it here instead. That adder can keep attacking me, I don't give a shit. I think he's out of cards too. Yeah, we win. We win. Ah, oh, nice. Oh. Need a light? Thank you. Your reward. That filthy feral hog. Become incensed when the chimes are struck. Wait, what? I've never seen that before. The the da the dos the daws. Amoeba. That Morpheus amoeba. Its sigils are ever changing. Ouroboros. The eternal serpent. Death strengthens it forever. The card bearing the sigil publishes a copy is created in your hand. When a card bearing the sigil is drawn, this sigil is replaced with another sigil at random. This is 
Bellist. When a card bearing decision is played, a chime is created on each empty adjacent space. A chime is def defined as zero power one health. Da I'm gonna go with the dose. After a harrowing encounter with the prospector, you gather yourself and continue onwards. Let me think. The air grew thick of, with moisture. The buzzing chirping of insects drown out the sound of your footfalls. You beheld the wetlands. Now... There's nothing else I can click here, right? No. Still haven't found a cockroach. You know, if I can just find a cockroach to put in my deck, this would be very easy to actually make happen. Because I can do this on turn one. Let's play. The Trial of Wisdom. The three drawn cards must have at least three sigils. Okay, so every card needs to have a sigil. Don't all my cards have sigils, though? Trial of Bones. The three drawn cards must have a cost of these five bones. Trial of Power. Four attack power. I think this... All the cards need to have a sigil. Wish I could view my... Oh, I can view my deck. So I have... Okay, like half are sigils, though. And I needed all three to have sigils. That's pretty bad. Let's go with this one. Power of four. <laughs> Fuck. Okay, good. Okay, we met. Success. Excuse me? I mean... Found missing, you know. Uh, let's see... What do we have here? There's the thing I can sell the pelts to, so we probably want to go that way. This fucking idiot again. After an overwhelming mo moment of silence, he moved to offer her carvings. What do we have? Now it's the... Oh, I don't have any of these either, dude. Shit. We just pick another head anyway. Elk. I am looking for cockroach. So let's go with the cockroach. But I think we're just gonna go with squirrel B for now. Special encounter. Snakes have... Is that Guardian? <clears throat> it's me. Guardian, yeah. Okay. What's he doing? Skink. With Guardian. Right. Uh... <clears throat> Let's put him... Don't think we want to put it here, actually. So let's just put it down like here. Uh oh. Fuck yes, poison. Two adders. Shit. I might be able to block this adder from coming down, actually. Hold on, look at this. Look at this shit. Put this here. And then this guy's gonna move. No, he moved all the way. Fuck. God damn it. Uh oh. Fuck, dude, I have nothing. I mean, I have. Ah, it's just two damage. It's in the middle. What is that? Rattler? That's another guardian. Shit. 
Squirrel or... Yeah, squirrel. Do you use it to block? To get a bee? Is it even worth it? It might be worth it. I think it's worth... Mm. Then we can't play the blood on mask round. Fuck, dude. I'll just pass. Shit. Where do we even play it? Get rid of the rattler? Look at all this bullshit coming down, dude. What was that? It's, I think they rattled because of the guardian. They tried to move there. They can't. Ah, oh, shit. Well. Fuck, is it worth to use our, our, our shit to get the lives back? I mean, I'm gonna get a maximum two health here. And these guys deal three. So I'm dead anyway. Yeah, I'm dead. Crap. Fish hook. I mean, we have two lives, so it's... It's okay. Shit. When will a worthy challenger appear? Alright, let's sell some pelts. See if we can get some good shit. Uh, no cockroach. Great white. Or oh, it costs three. It has waterborne. How the fuck am I gonna play a three cost though? I think the skink is kinda good with a loose tail. And it costs one. Elk fawn actually. Grows into a real elk. That's good. I have the elk head uh, for the statue too, right? So. Ah, child 13. Many lives. When a card bearing the sigil is sacrificed, it doesn't perish. What the fuck? Mole man. Another Dawes. Dawes. What does this cost too? Like, what am I gonna do with this? Even if I get it back every time it dies? Like, it's 1-1 one, one and it costs 2 to play. Might just go Mole Man here. War Child 13 for infinite sacrifices. Yeah, we might need this. We can actually play some stuff. They're exquisite, my thanks. What is this? Oh, it's this thing. The Bone Lord. To sacrifice something. Dude, what is this? I need to... I never drew that card. I need to play it, dude. What do we get rid of? This guy? No. Adder. Let me get rid of the adder. We get the same as before. Is it... Uh... Yeah, it's the Boon Lord. We start each round. Each battle with an extra one bone. I don't really have that many cards that use bones, though. I don't think I have any cards that use bones. I sacrificed the only one I had before. <laughs> Lucky draw. Man. Stump. Bullfrog coming down. Well, let's just put down the trusty stoat, I guess. Or the bullfrog. Let's go to stoat. No, uh oh, fucking adder, of course. Right where I am. And one of these fuckers. Creature Jinsu discard, bearing the seal, getting one power. Fuck. Could sacrifice the stoat. Do I want to? 
Not really. Cat. So that's just a random card then, maybe. When I draw that, it just turns into a random card. Okay, so what? I'm just dead here. The alpha's gonna attack the stump. But both of these gates plus two health. <sighs> Shit, dude. I should've... I'm not dead again, am I? Crap. Really like to kill this alpha, but this stump is in the way. So I think I'm gonna kill the adder with the bullfrog. This is what we do. We put down the squirrel, then we play the cat next to the stump, and then we play the bullfrog, sacrificing the cat here. Yes. Another adder, huh? Fuck. I think I'm dead. There's nothing I can draw that doesn't kill me now. I do gain one life back. Three. Okay, I'm not dead next round. Actually, no, I'm not dead next turn. I'm not dead. That might as well be. Actually, I have this card. Hold on. Let's go with a squirrel and then just pass. I can play it. Let's wait until next turn. When the stump is gone. And I can kill the alpha. So that's, mm. Yes. Elk fawn. Okay. So, squirrel. The DOS. We put him here and he's gonna summon two things, right? Yes. We're alive for another turn. <laughs> Wait, what was that? Why did, why did he attack up there? Did he have... Oh, whatever. Am I dead now? I'm not. How is the scale looking? Not great. Now one thing is that this card is stuck behind here forever, and that's good. Uh, I think we just need to play that to kill the Rattler. But we, we will still take one damage next turn though. That will kill us. We need to do damage. <laughs> I can block it with a Squirrel. that. Shit, dude. There's our elk. Bullfrog coming down. Where's that? There's another bullfrog. So B, that will not kill. Shit. Wolf. Okay, nice wolf. So we can sacrifice the bee. Holy shit, this cat's getting value. There we go. Fucking elk moved! Shit. Bloodhound. Do we just win here? No, we certainly don't. But we're looking good. I think I can just pass here. Oh, want the elk move back. Nice. Uh, and no, we don't win yet, but almost. Nice, a lot of over damage too. Well, nice coin or gold teeth or whatever the fuck it is. Oof. That was a scary round. To activate the big brain. The tragic rat king. When the tangled bodies 
become corpses, you will gain four bones. All right. Another cat. Uh, we can go for the rattler. It costs six bones. I don't have anything that costs bones. So... Yeah. Uh, let's go to the campfire. Buff a card. Warm a creature by the fire. Enhance its power, said the hungry survivor. One more power. You put it on child 13. So he actually has a, an attack. That could be pretty good. Because he's just going to be a dead on the board otherwise. Ah, fuck it. The fire warmed the weary child 13 and enhanced its power. We suspected the intention of the survivor were less than pure. With your child 13 in tow, you retreat into the woods. <clears throat> Alright. Me again. We're just gonna start with an elk fawn. Oh, it's an ant thing. How do I know how many ants he has? Like, the value represented with the sigil would be equal to the number of ants that the owner has on their side of the table. I mean, there's one ant there, but then it runs, runs off. Like, how, how am I supposed to know? Maybe it's just one. Let's hope it's just one. Uh, where do I want it? Ringworm. The fuck? Okay. We want this. And probably doesn't matter where I put it because it's gonna move around anyway. So... If I put it here, is it... Yes, let's put it here. Oh, excuse me. And we're good. Oh, fuck, dude. Two damage. That is fucking brutal. Jesus. I can't even kill them. Oh, brother. Let's see, the elk is gonna move here. So it's gonna block this guy next turn. But I need to put something there. I have the douse. I have nothing that can help me over here either. Shit. Can't even play anything. I really like to play this, but... I can't take two more damage. So I need to play this. Just to block. But then what? Three damage! I'm, I'm dead. I'm not dead. But now I am. Dude, what the fuck is this encounter? Am I... Shit. Actually, I'm not dead. I'm not dead. I'm not dead. I'm not dead. You can play this guy. Here. To survive. But then we're probably dead next round. What was that? Why, why does he do that? Now what? Bullfrog. Can you use the fish hook to steal his card? But I d that's not gonna do anything, will it? I'm one away from dying. I can use it. If I steal this card... No, wait. It's gonna turn the attack to zero. Because I don't have any ants. I can steal it and then sacrifice it to play the bullfrog to survive one more round. But then I'm, <laughs> I'm fucked again. Wait, one damage. This also... Oh, I get it. It's not the ants that are crawling around. It's just the amount of ants that's on the... Okay, I get it now. That's a bit better. So I will survive here. If I just pass. Yes. Now we can play the bullfrog. The bullfrog is not gonna kill... I think I'm just gonna play it here. Cause he didn't play anything. 
So he might be out of cards here. So if I just play it here, I'm gonna deal two damage every turn and he'll gonna he's gonna deal one. Hopefully. Yeah, he doesn't play anything. Well, easy game, boys. <laughs> what the hell, dude? Should I, do I even want to put down the Bloodhound? I don't really want to fuck something up here. If I put it here and kill... Kill this. This one will come down, but it will only have one damage. So it's fine, I hope. Fuck, dude. We're like on the on the brink of losing every, every round now. Rattler. Well, he's gonna kill both of his cards here. Oh, and now we deal massive damage for the. We get a lot of coin here. Oh, I need to. Grizzly. Boom, bitch. Nice. Okay. I have no idea what this mushroom here is. I. This is. You pick a card based on the cost, right? And that is. Pick a card based on the tribe. And that's the woman again. I wanna go check out the mushroom. I haven't seen that before, I don't think. Kingfisher. Both flying and. Water dude. Alpha. The alpha's pretty good. And it costs bones. So I think I'm gonna go with that. Uh yeah. Let's see what this shit is. <clears throat> Still haven't found a cockroach. You found yourself among a groove of thick and pungent mushrooms. You squint to see a figure through the Thick cloud of spores. We are the mycol <laughs> mycologist. Yes. Oh shit. Yes. We are performing our experiments far from. We are not welcome elsewhere. We will experiment on your flock. Yes. We'll need two of the same creatures. One for each of us. Do I even have that? No, I don't. Fuck. You have no duplicates. Take one of ours. We will use it next time. Okay, so I get a duplicate. Let's get the wolf. Alright. Boss time. Shit. Are we ready for this? The mud tugged hard on your feet, forcing you to slow your pace. A rank odor caused your stomach to churn and your eyes to water. It was the rotting fish that hung from the branches around you. A huge man approached. Go fish. Fisher. There's like no way to kill this. Except with a bullfrog, actually. Do I have one? Of course not. No, there is. There is no way to kill this. Because it submerges every time it's my turn. Crap. I guess I'm just gonna play the fawn then. Do I even play it? It doesn't matter where I play it, it's gonna move anyway. Why did I put it there? Isn't it just gonna kill it? 
That was really dumb. Unless it moves now. I think it moves. It's fine. Okay, good. And that is... Is that another Kingfisher? Oh, God. Uh... Oh yeah, the hook mechanic. So, he's gonna steal something. I'm gonna put my squirrel here. And he's gonna steal that instead. I think he always steals the card that he put on last. So this should actually block his Kingfisher. Wait, what? Oh, what? Oh, oh, it's flying. Okay, never mind. Okay, so he just has a squirrel here in the way now. Great. Uh, I guess we're just gonna keep it as is. Seems good. There's the hook again. I'm just gonna play a squirrel to block. Good thing his creatures are flying, because otherwise my squirrel would die. So let's just pass here. There we go. Another, another row blocked. Epic. And we can actually play the wolf now. We could actually, if I could use one of these, I could just win now. But I think I'm gonna play it safe. And we're putting this, yeah, we're putting it here. Oh wait, I win anyway, never mind. Now's the hard part. These fucking things, bait buckets. I have nothing. This one's pretty useless to put down when I don't have any... You know, I can... Because this is gonna spawn a 4-2 shark. And that's just gonna kill these immediately. And it has a merge I can't even kill. I should probably just kill off these two. Even like immediately. I think that's the play here. So let's do that. So that we never kill this. Oh, he plays another bait bucket. Epic. Uh, Bloodhound. I think, yeah, you can't sacrifice this. Ah. Uh, Actually, let's do that and then we win. There we go. Fuck this shit, I'm out. Your lives are restored. Choose carefully. Amalgam. Canine hooved reptilian feathered insectoid. The amalgam is all. Pack rat. The prudent pack rat. Never doubt the utility of a well, well stocked pack. What's this? Trinket bearer. When a card bearing the sigil is played, you will receive a random item as long as you have less than three items. That is pretty good, but the amalgam is pretty good too. Strange larva is also pretty good. That's a tough choice. I think I'm gonna go with this one. Moving past the pond, took a deep breath of fresh air and continued on. Oh yes, I know. The relief of the fresh air quickly gave way to the bone shaking chill. You guessed at the path ahead as the snow increasingly obscured it. We had climbed to the snow line. So this is as far as I have gotten. I don't remember if I actually reached the boss or not last time I was there. See, this is still the same. Anything else in here? 
Oh. No. Alright then, moving on. Turkey vulture. Pernicious vulture, a tyrant of disguise. Okay, so I don't really want to pick more bone cards, because I already have two, and I don't have any bone generators. This one here, I could go for another elk. And maybe if we meet that woman or whatever, we can change the statue to elk. Because I have, what, two? If I pick this. Yeah. Uh, what was that again? I already forgot what this was. Let's see what's up here. Maybe I should refill my backpack. Yeah, I don't want to do this. So that's one of the weird fights. And he gets a totem. If you deem it necessary, you may cut up one of my cards with this. Instant kill. That pitiful opossum. Frozen opossum. To the user, a frozen opossum is created in your hand. A frozen opossum is defined as zero power, zero health, frozen away. What does frozen away mean? When a card bearing the sigil perishes, the creature inside is released. Okay. Well, why the fuck an opossum? Okay, I already have a life thing, so I guess I'm gonna go with this one. That seems pretty good. Oh no, you can't use that. Failure. Nothing will happen. This bottle of goo has no use. I mean, we have to pick it, right? Oh, hold on. Let me... Okay, let's do this. This might be one of the... Like, if you go out here. We can, like, go down here. And I guess this is for later, maybe. You can, like, pick something up here. From here. Okay, if we're about to die, I'm using that bottle. It's probably gonna do something. Alright, what do we have? Nice top deck. Uh... Mighty leap. That's protection against flying. Oh shit, look at this shit. Crap. Okay. Need to kill one of those at least. Uh. You sure? Yes, I am. Five bones for the alpha. Ow. Okay, uh, <clears throat> guess we're just gonna, I'm gonna go with another card. And I think we're just gonna pass. He's gonna get two elks, not great. I'm gonna kill this one as well. Got lucky there. Uh, yep. Yeah. That's not very good though. How much health did I have? Okay. I could sacrifice the stoat here. Should I? Get something better? Bloodhound maybe? Do I counter with another elk? He's gonna block one more. Yeah, let's play the bloodhound. So that's gonna... We're dead. I thought this guy would jump and protect, but he didn't. Uh, do we use the scissors? Do we use the bottle or whatever the fuck? Am I dead anyway? 
Bloodlands gonna die when he attacks the porcupine because of this thing. Uh, the elk. We need to block the elk. So the elk moves after it attacks, I think. So, <sighs> shit. We can actually put down the elf on. I see now. Block with him. Not good value though. Crap. Let's cut up one of his cards. Don't really see any other way here. And then we have to block here with Alpha. And then what? I can play the elk actually. The elk's gonna survive this attack. So we might wanna do that and play. Oh my god, dude. Check this out. He's gonna move over here. That's not good. Actually. No, fuck. <laughs> what? God damn it. <laughs> Shit. Well, that's me. Unkillable. Yep. Okay. Put uh, this one on something else, that could be good. We can put several sigils on the same thing though, right? I mean, putting infinite sacrifice on something is, like, really good. Like, if I put infinite sacrifice on this, will he keep the sigil when it transforms? That's the real question here. Could put it on myself. You know what? Let's uh, let's. Uh... Oh, this is the one I buffed though. Ah, oh, crap. What happens if you put the transforming thing on another card? What's gonna happen then? Can you just gonna become a amalgam? Okay, you know what? We're doing it. We're putting that on on me. Let's see what happens here. Do I get both? I think I do. Yes. That sticker might mean that it only works once though. I guess we're gonna find out. Yep. A mole. Turkey vulture. Holy shit. Three. Well, we have protection. Doesn't really help. It's gonna kill it instantly. Don't really have a lot of choices here. Crap. Am 
Man, what the fuck is this shit? Three, three, like... He puts down a three, three flying turn one, dude. How am I supposed to do anything with that? Hey, look, I'm fucking dead. Here comes the elk too, dude. I can block this once, but... Like what? Do I have... I only have one life, right? Shit. Well... Like where's my good cards when I need them? Please. The mole is gonna move over here now that I attack and the raven egg is gonna come down. I think the raven is like a 2-3-2. Two, two. Fuck. I'm dead? Question mark? Okay, I'm not dead yet. But I... How many bones do I have? How many is that? Four? I'm dead. Unlucky. Save me. Doesn't help. I really want to kill the raven egg. Well, we have to kill the... The vulture. But we're dead anyway, right? Unless? Fuck. Well, guess we're using this. I'm serious, you cannot use that. There is no possible use for it. Please be a board wipe. I place on that shelf over there for now. Oh, my advice, avoid it. Okay, put it out in the room. So let's see, I'm one health away from dying, the knife... I wonder if the knife give me one or... maybe they give me different amounts. Like the pliers give me one, maybe this gives me two. If that is true, I'm alive one more round. No, I'm not, because this is gonna hatch. That's gonna... okay, let, let's just try. We're back to... Holy shit, I'm fucking up. This game is fucked up, dude. Okay, well, we are alive. Not. Actually, we are. <laughs> See, I can attack for two. That gives me... Three health, and he attacks for four. If I can only sacrifice another squirrel, I could put on the rattler. Because I get a bone from sacrificing it, but I can't sacrifice it. Because I have no... I guess I can block with a squirrel? I can block the elk. That's the only thing I can do here. And then I get another bone, I can put on the rattler. What happened there? Am I dead? Dead. What was that? Where did that mold go? Oh, I guess it's oh, okay. It blocked the. All right, you're at the end of your rope. Please try to remain alive for just a short while longer. I would like a memento. Your death card. Let us begin. Please choose a card to draw its cost from. Uh, one, please. And another. This time I will use the power of and health. Uh, this one, I guess. Now choose a card from which we will extract sigils. Stink lines. Or flying blocker. Or moving. Let's go with stink lines. Sigil of Stinky from the wolf. 
I wonder if I need to uh, put down a specific name here sometime to make something else happen. Prepare yourself. Death awaits. Okay, another one for the Queen's collection, boys. Are you ready? 